<sighs> hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Hainzo. I love to sing and I also love making YouTube videos about faith and music. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the post notification bell so you can get notified when I post. So, as you can see, I am no longer in my room like the intro of this video and that's because I tried to film this video yesterday but it didn't go too well. Uh, just a lot of things went wrong and so it's the next day, yeah, I'm out in the bush in the Australian outback and yeah, I'm gonna be attempting this. This is attempt number two for this video. As you guys can see from the title, I'm just gonna be talking about what everyone's talking about at the moment and that is the coronavirus. I am sure you guys have heard of it. It's currently a pandemic. The World Health Organization actually declared it a pandemic uh, a few days ago now. I'm filming this video on the 16th of March and currently, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, it's no longer just a meme like it was like a month ago, a few weeks ago. This is serious. I heard that um, in one day, Italy actually had like 300 plus deaths. Europe is like really suffering from this at the moment. It's kind of hectic. A lot of people are living in fear and that's exactly what I want to talk about today. Fear of this coronavirus, which is basically fear of death, right? The reason we fear the coronavirus is because we don't want to die. I hope it's not too windy too, by the way. And I hope that you can see me properly. The lighting is a bit off, but it's okay. God can still use this lighting. Amen, amen. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, people don't just buy that much toilet paper because they're not afraid, you know what I mean? You have to be pretty afraid to be buying all the toilet paper. Guys, come on, let's share around the toilet paper. But if you go to the grocery store now or like the supermarket, you'll see that other items are also getting sold quickly. People are stocking up because yeah, they don't know what's gonna happen. They're in fear, fear of the unknown, fear of death, as I said, it's just, it's crazy. But here's the thing, right? If this is all you have, if this world is all you have, then I mean, you're gonna wanna survive. You go into survival mode, you go and get all the toilet paper from the shops. If your life on this earth is everything and you know, you live for what, 70 years, give or take, I can see, yeah, why a lot of people are panicking. If this is it for you and you don't believe that there's more, I don't know, it's like, yeah, self-preservation, right? You just want to live as long as you can, uh, squeeze out the most you can squeeze out of this life, this short life, then just drop dead one day. And the thing is, guys, yes, this coronavirus is serious. Yes, make sure you're washing your hands because even if you survive it, you might spread it to someone who won't survive it. Um, but the truth is, guys, whether or not you die by the coronavirus, we all have a death date. Every single one of us is inevitably gonna die one day. It's the depressing truth. I mean, it's harsh, but it is the truth. And the thing is, more people die from other things every single day. People are dying from hunger. People are dying in car crashes, in accidents. Tomorrow is not promised. And everything we see here on this earth is temporary. I think a lot of people are starting to realize that with this virus because yeah even toilet paper is temporary right you need to go get more because you might run out and then what will you have then and i mean that goes for toilet paper but it goes for other things as well it's just so uncertain and a lot of people are living in this fear and guys i just want to come on here today and i want to encourage you guys with the fact that there is more if you're a believer and you believe that there is more then take courage in the fact that yeah you have your treasures stored up in heaven and if you don't believe that there is more I really want you guys and I encourage you guys to think about it a lot of people now are looking to the government looking to other human beings for help right people are worried about their jobs some people have to be self-isolating and I saw someone post about you know how the government should be taking precautions to help these people and I 100% agree but at the end of the day no government is perfect and we can't rely on mere human beings there's this verse in the Bible that talks about seeking refuge in God not in human beings human beings are gonna fail you time and time again and at the end of the day they're temporary they're gonna die they're fallible and 
God, he's eternal and is infallible, he's perfect. So yeah, like humans, God, I think I'd rather place my trust in God. I don't know if you guys saw in the news, but Tom Hanks and his wife have tested positive for the COVID-19, the coronavirus here in the Gold Coast. I don't live in the Gold Coast, but I live in Brisbane and I'm about 40 minutes from the Gold Coast. Yeah, he's like in isolation with his wife at the moment. I'm not sure how old he is, but this disease is bad for old people who have weak immune systems but it's crazy to think that he was just on the Oscars I remember watching the Oscars and seeing him he would have never thought that a few months later I don't even remember how long ago the Oscars was but Tom Hanks never would have imagined that he would have contracted this disease and it just makes you think wow this life is so uncertain and if you don't have God then who else do you have to run to you know these things are just random events that happen that have no meaning. Your existence period is just made up of meaning you give it. It actually doesn't have any higher meaning, any higher purpose. But if you have God, you realize that, well, Jesus has already told us that things like this would take place. There's a verse in Luke where Jesus tells his disciples when he's talking about the end time, there will be famines, pestilences, diseases in various places, fearful events, right? And this is a fearful event then it's a deadly disease that is spreading. Of course, there are a lot of people who are surviving um, and recovering, but yeah, Jesus told us that this would happen more and more as we come close to his second coming. And if you're watching this right now, you're living in the last days of this earth's history. And for those who put their trust in Jesus, that's an awesome thing. For those who don't, then, you know, in Judgment Day, everyone is going to have to stand before God and give an account of their life. And without God, without acknowledgement of the Creator and the Redeemer, then yeah, you can't stand on your own without being covered by the blood of Jesus. That's why His sacrifice is so important, guys, because God is a holy God and we can only be excused from our sin through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith. But yeah, you know, um, as a Christian, I'm not surprised by these events. I know why this is happening and what this is leading to. And as I said, that is Christ's second coming. Another thing I want to touch on in this video is the fact that every single person on this planet has tested positive for an even greater disease, greater than COVID-19 or any other disease. And that disease is sin. We were born this way. We cannot do anything to help ourselves. We're helpless on our own. We can not save ourselves the only thing we can do is reach out to the cure and that cure is Jesus Christ God through Jesus Christ reached out his hand to sinful humanity who couldn't save themselves who were like a newborn baby an infant who can't survive very long you know 70 years that's not long at all it just flashes by ask anyone who is older they're gonna tell you yo it feels like yesterday I was young and you know youthful yeah we cannot survive for very long and so we're like the infant who's born helpless just like a infant without a carer a mother we cannot survive and God is that carer he is our parent he's our heavenly father and people go on about you know God's gender and stuff God doesn't have a gender he chose to reveal himself to us in scripture with male pronouns but God exceeds gender right God made mankind in his image man and woman he created them male and female we both together male and female reflect the image of God and so yeah that's another topic for another video but as as I was saying God has offered us a cure the only cure for death is Jesus Christ no amount of science in this world can atone for our sin only Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary only he can do that and has done that we just have to accept that we're in this world we're drowning in sin in helplessness in sickness in disease in violence in all of this yuckiness and so we're drowning and we can't swim yet God has reached out his hand we still have a choice to either grab that hand and accept the free gift of salvation or we can reject it you know God is not gonna force his love on us he's not gonna save us if we don't want to be saved it's crazy because so many people are preparing for this coronavirus you know people are stocking up they're doing all of this stuff to take precaution for this 
event, for this thing that is taking place right now, how many of us are preparing for Jesus' second coming? So yeah, ask yourself, you know, what am I doing to prepare for the second coming of Jesus Christ? Because whether you like it or not, whether or not you believe, Jesus is coming soon and he's coming to restore Eden, to cleanse this earth of its sin and to make it new. The last book of the Bible, Revelation, is full of prophecy and all that stuff but in that book it talks about a new heaven and a new earth where there will be no more pain no more sorrow no more crying no more dying no more sickness no more famine if you're watching this and you're wanting more reach out and grab more because god has offered us everything he's offered us all of eternity he wants to be with us and to dwell with us and to take care of us and to give us the life that he intended us to live because guys it doesn't take a lot to look around and realize that this ain't it you know anyways guys just wanted to come on here and yeah tell you guys to fear god not the coronavirus and by fear god i'm not talking about a bad type of fear i'm talking about respect acknowledgement we need to acknowledge jesus as our savior our creator the one who is the reason we're even here today the bible says that all things are made through him without him nothing would be here that is here right now uh, so that's what i mean by fear god I just thought i'd make that clear uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something from this video we're encouraged yeah trust god trust god more than that hand sanitizer because on judgment day that hand sanitizer ain't gonna do much for you but jesus if you have jesus then I don't know why I just did that, but if you have Jesus, then yeah, you'll be set. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and like this video, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. God bless you, and yeah, bye-bye.